guys, it's Hawkeye and Kachi Dulakaba, and we are here with my new scent hound, Roscoe. He is named after the uh, <laughs> goofy member from the Dukes of Hazard, since Dulakaba named his hounds after the Dukes. <laughs> so he's. I just got him, he hasn't been trained. Uh, let me go ahead and switch my perspective here so you can get a look at him. Yeah, he's running around here because he's, uh, he's got has no training at all yet. So he's just kind of goofy right now. <laughs> he's a pretty dog though. But you ready to do this? Absolutely. Oh. 5 a.m. here at the Darkwood Lodge, Red Feather Falls. We're going to be making our way across the National <coughs> Bend in the road that's to the uh, southeast because that's usually prime health territory this early in the morning get my sense pressure going I've got my white tail stuff with me and I'm bringing my pulsar compound book um, so that I can potentially uh, you know take a take a white tail if we run across one along the way yeah hey, yours is a lot lighter isn't it the female uh, Daisy yeah yeah she's a she's a lot lighter colored all right well let's hit a crouch and let's start working our way up there I, I love how they do it too <laughs> yeah well, I found the scent dogs are, are much more disciplined right off the start, right off the bat. They're, they're much more disciplined and cooperative and, and um, nowhere near the handful that, that my knucklehead uh, doggess was when, when I first started working with him. Yeah, um, Poppy was a little bit, you know, overzealous. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, go chase a rabbit, you know. Now with the sun hounds, is it better just to have the one hound if you hunting in a group, or should, can you have more than one hound? Or You can have more than one hound. That right there was a hell of a buck. Those were some serious tracks, and it read, read pretty weighty. But I'm not going to go after him. We're, we're on a mission. Damn mission. <laughs> 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 All right. <coughs> We're gonna cross to the far side of the road and uh <laughs> And we'll, we'll start working our way along. We got a doe down here, but other than that, very slim on tracks. I haven't heard anything, no, not but a peep. Well, that's that's why I'm concerned we may have a doe map, because if we have a doe map, of course, you know, you, you won't run into elk for a long time. And when you finally do, of course, it'll be a group of four or five females, but... Which I think that's that's pretty snazzy that they're willing to do basically a thousand. Oh, there was a, a female. Yep. So that's what we got going on. All right, she's she's off over this way. So basically, what you do is you settle yourself right cheer on this lovely knoll. Okay. And uh, if in fact, if you have your dog go to stay right where she is, or right where he is. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, do stay rather than sit. Okay. There you go. Alright, so if you come right down, right down the knoll here, basically right to the bottom, right about here, what I'll do is, uh, you got a preferred distance you want to shoot with your crossbow? Uh, 40. 40 is usually. Alright, I'm going to mark a 40 spot. In fact, there's a tree right there that's 36, no, it's 45, so 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward to that dot, and I'll do a call and drop a scent patch, and that way you'll be far enough back that you won't have to worry about the spook radius on the hound. And uh, basically, you just tell me when when I hit 40 meters in your view. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah. Hey, my worst spot. There it is. 
you are at 24 meters. All right, if I need to go left or right to give you more open lane, let me know. You're fine right now. Yeah, you're fine. All right, and you just let me know when I hit 40, and that's where I'll make the call from the Right there. Right, right there. there. Yep. All right. All right, cool, cool. Have yourself a nice 40 meter shot. The, of course, the elk cows are really responsive, and that was moving in the direction where they were, so they should pull right into that spot. No, might get more than one. Yeah, I'll pull back uh, till I'm right next to you, and that way I can spot for you and range for you. Okay. Hmm. In fact, there she is. Yep, I see her now. Alright, I'll get a range for you. <coughs> she is at 48, 41, perfect. Dead on 41 right now. <coughs> you hit her. And <laughs> dropped her on the spot, too. Yep. <laughs> you wanna hang and see if any others come in? or? Yeah, let's see if anything else comes in, because. Oh, I think we got another one. Coming down the hill there. Let's take a look. Yep. Mm. We've got one up the hill. I, I see her. You see her? I see her. She's 61 out. She's trying to make up her mind. I take a look, see if I spot any others out there. Yeah, she's well, she's out of my range at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, she'll, I'm sure she'll, she'll start moving in again. She's just trying to make up her mind. A lot of times, times they pause and scent. Now she's starting to move again. Yeah, so. Yeah. 55. 52. She's paused at 51. She is 46, 44, 42, 40, dead on 39, bang, on the spot, you can make yourself a pile, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I am with this thing. Mm-hmm. That should make an interesting trophy shot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> pile of elk. Just check and, and see if there's any other more well, stragglers. Off to the right. Almost dead right. I just dropped the dot. So you can look on your hunt to make and see. She's moving in. She's to the right. Got the there's two. two. Yep. Holy crap. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Well, the one that's that's farther out walking left is at uh, 45 meters the other one is at 44 meters so they're both walking over to that spot and they'll both be right right about dead on 40 when they get there the uh, thing is I might spook one the one in the back so the one that's holding up on the two that are down is at 42 meters Dropped her on the spot, and the other didn't run. Can't tell where she is. Oh no, she's walking right up. God, she's she's turned and walking more towards us at this point. So she's in at 36, 35, 
She's behind the bush for me. I can't see her. Can't well, get a clear shot. And well, you got number five to your right. Oh, good God. Yep. Oh, you got her. Right. Yep. I was gonna take her with the bow. <laughs> to the right. Oh shoot. Hold on, just a second. You might have to take her. I got some at the door. Oh, yeah. But I had to put down two of them. That's fine. Yeah, well, it's good. I want, you know, of course, I want to get harvest from my pulsar bow, but drop them both right on the spot. Now mine are over here in the pile, <laughs> right? Yeah, you've got. Well, you've got the one right here. Yeah. Where are you? Okay, that yep. was mine here too. Yep. So you got that one there, and then you got your three out in the pile there, and these two over here are mine. Okay. <laughs> Mission note completed. There you go. And this bow is powerful. Body, right lung, liver, stomach, intestine. Body, skull, brain, neck bone two, neck bone three. Shot mine. I didn't even think of it. So. Well, I was, a dog stood there right next to me. I thought that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Well, you two enjoy that. I'm gonna go take this white tail if I can. Good luck. Yeah, I'm a hoping. He's not too far out, but he should be far enough out that we shouldn't have to worry about the dog's spook radius. Yeah. <coughs> Sense of pressure. Ooh, good thing I checked it. Six minutes left on it. I'm gonna see if I can call him in close enough to take him with the boat. And there's a ridge here. I think he may be up on the other side of that ridge. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close enough to him or not before he picks me up. Oh yeah. But we'll see. But I've been wanting to take a white tail buck with this bow and haven't had a chance to do so. Taking a couple of feral hogs with it. Taking a, bu a bunch of elk. Here's a good spot. Should have a nice vantage. nice that you can move the dog too. Mm -hmm. I like that. I got a couple of uh, pretty nice trophy shots off my missions. Well, he was close and he should be moving in. Settle down. 
Roscoe. Why don't you stay? That way he can, you can get your your white tail there. Yep. Well, with the uh, with the moose and with the bison, there will be a good possibility that you'll that you'll get some tracking for Roscoe. Okay, good. You know, with the elk, they're such a soft target, especially the cows. So, but uh, he sure was a pretty one. Definitely not the fork buck I was expecting. Hmm. Looked like he was probably a 12 point and he had real long tines. So. Well, we're heading over there. We're, we'll see where we, let me find you here. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Come on, boy. Let's get him. Let's see what I got here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got good blood. How in the hell am I getting intestine blood? But that's the thing, you know, I've, I've found with with this bow is that I'll hit him and I'll get, like, body and intestine and then I'll go and pick them up and I'll have taken them through the entire length of one lung through their liver and into their intestines and it's actually poked out the opposite side of their body. Mm. But you're gonna get a chance to get Roscoe a little tracking here. Oh, good, 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 good. He's mighty green. Yeah, that'll be good for him. Should get him at least to level one. Alrighty. So what you do is you come on up and you read the blood track that's right here in front of me. Okay. And once you read the blood track, then of course it's V and and the it's the left hand choice. Is the one for tracking blood. Here he goes. Alright. Go oh, get him, Roscoe. If he if he suddenly uh, gives you a question mark and stops tracking, yeah. then all you gotta do is is just tell him to track again. As long as the animal doesn't cross water, you should be able to put him back on the track. Oh, there he is. Roscoe has reached level one. Nice. Yeah, each track that he that he picks up gives him a little bit of experience. So rather than him getting experience when he finds the animal, each track along the way he'll pick up a little XP. Hey, he's on the right way. He knows what yeah. he's doing. But I'll tell you what, he's on it. We're on the second bleed now, so... And I just got a solid circle. Now, yep, he found him. Yep, and the animal may still be alive because they will bay on the animal if the animal is still alive. But nope, there he is. There he is. <laughs> is this he he must have. Uh, he must have perished just as we were coming up. But there you go. He is. Golly, that's not too bad looking, fella. Good boy. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's a ten pointer, but he's got some real long tines. He can score all right. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Come on, Ross. Roscoe, he, he did himself a good job. Yes, he did. Well, I think you and Roscoe need to get in on this one since I shot him, but Roscoe tracked him. Come here, Roscoe. <laughs> If you'll come. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll move around this side so you can stay on the left side there. Yeah, this side? Okay. You know, I don't I honestly don't know if I'll be able to move Roscoe for the uh, for the shot or not. I'll, I'll yeah. certainly try. I don't know if I will be able to my second game to come in and make him sit. Wait a minute, let me try getting him to come here. All right, well, I'm a trophy shot, and Roscoe is still moving around, so let me see. If, yeah, see, I, 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 can, I can move the deer, but I can't move you, and I can't move Roscoe. That's right, I can, I can work it out, I think. He's back moving around now. Hold on, let me. Yeah. Oh, you can stop him right there. Did he lay down? Yep, he sure did. Well, he's he's sitting, so what I'll do, what I'll do is, if you just turn around and face the other direction. This way? Yep. There you go. Uh, turn, turn. This way? Yep, there you go. A little bit more. 
And go ahead and get right up next to your dog. Cool. There you go. And then what I'll do is I'll just move the deer. I'll see if I can... i got to change my camera angle here, but I'll see if I can just move the deer to, to kind of pull him... pull him visible between the two of us here. Sorry, I know I'm moving you around a little bit, but... No, you're fine. What I'm trying to do is get his head up. Boy, he has got some serious... Boy, he looks like he's trying to gore you both here. <laughs> All right, if... Uh, think okay I'm gonna move myself over a little bit hmm. excuse me I lift the deer's head there we go now if you turn to your left just a bit <clears throat> bit more a bit more a bit more a bit more there you go and just look up a bit good deal there we go Family photo. Oh. <laughs> Good deal. Cool. There you go. Roscoe's first tracking job. Excellent. And not a bad deer. In fact, you know, I didn't even notice that deer score. You know, let me hit the entry key here. Uh, 122. Not too shabby. No. Not, too shabby. not bad at all. All right.